Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Mudlarking with Old Father Thames. Well, the sun is finally out, so I'm down on the foreshore. I was absolutely chucking it down this morning. Um, but here we are. This is the good old British weather, so let's see what we can find today. I'm trying to work a line that is right at the water's edge. Let me show you. It's literally, <laughs> literally lapping at my feet. There may be some goodies lurking within. I'm just going to get stuck into this and see if we've got any nice spring like items. Before the tide takes it, I've just spotted this, which I think is a lovely weight. Looks like a weight to me. Feels like a weight to me. I don't know, I'm not totally convinced. It could be something more modern than I think it is, but otherwise it could be one of those lovely fishing weights. I've shown you before, but I wanted to show you again. Oh, just spotted a coin. There we go. This uh, thing we refer to as Thames gilding. Look at these pins down here. Don't they look absolutely golden? They're not gold, they're brass. But there's this thing that happens to um, little metal objects, pins especially, some of them, and we refer to it as Thames gilding. I'm sure, oh, what is that? Yes, 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 yes. Hello. Okay, nice. This is a nice vibe. You see, as I always go on and on about, you can search and you can search and you can search and then suddenly, bam, there it is. And you were with me live, well, okay, not live, but you were with me as I was doing that. It's a button, definitely got some age to it. I think probably 18. I'll research it. I haven't been doing a lot about buttons recently and I need a bit of a refresher so I'm guessing 18th century but I'll have a nice look and that there mm, not keen on that it looks it reminds me a little bit of pest lead pest I'll see what I can do to restore that but nice really pleased with that find I didn't have time to get my camera out and show you the fine spot. I just yoinked this one right up because as you can see, I'm standing on stones trying to avoid um, the tide crashing in at me. But that looks to me like some London type wear, I think, with roulette decoration. I'm gonna have to check that one with Richard Henry because this stuff is a bit of a dodgy area for me. There are a few early pottery styles, medieval pottery styles that look kind of similar to one another, there's French style and this which I think is London type wear. Anyway, I'm going to ask the man, the myth, the legend. Right, here comes the tide. Oh, oh. I'm just going to jump off. It's a little bit of medieval pottery and it is the rim from a plate. You can see there, little indentation that would go around, a bit of decoration. Green, green glaze, that's some kind of Surrey white wear. But that is a sweet little piece. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's neither here nor there, but you're looking at pottery that is 700 years old, you know. Well, okay, seven to 500 years old. Um, it's really pretty. I just saw a couple of beautiful, lovely, lonely bits of pottery. Here's one. Look at that beauty. Chinoiserie for sure. Not exactly sure of the date. That is gorgeous, probably Victorian. And what's that? How curious. Well, it's tin glazed delftware. <laughs> but it's almost in the shape of a bone. How very strange. Well, it's either it's a part of a handle or a finial from something. Really cute couple of pieces of pottery there. Interesting pieces that 
Well, they're not your everyday Porsche finds, so there we go. Right, guys, the weather's turned filthy again, and I don't know if you can hear me, the wind's blasting. I found something that's down here. There, let's look it. Lovely. Nice piece of Westerwald, Westerwald, or possibly a piece of scratch blue. I will double check that, but yeah, stoneware, cobalt blue decoration, beautiful. Right, I just spotted a coin. It looks modern because it's so corroded, but let's see what it is exactly. I don't recognize it. Oh, well, I do recognize it. It's a modern term key. Ugh. Well, I thought that was going to be something exotic, it's not, but it does mean I have spotted a little coin line. Modern, modern, modern. Euro, I think. And sterling. Okay, I'm just going to have to look through here. Let's see, as ever, if I can find a different kind of coin or something metallic, small and round. So what we've got down here amongst the leaves, a little patch of metal items. Now this is a medieval to post-medieval buckle. It's missing its uh, wrong there, the tongue, which does up. So, so there we go. We know we're looking in the right patch because of this kind of thing. And there we are, this is just flicked up. It looks like it may have been part of a pendant uh, or a join in a link for a bracelet or something. A little floral pattern maybe, or it's like a jelly mold that way. But uh, no, I think it was a link in something. I might have to put that down to an unknown decorative item, but yeah, good stuff in this little spot here. Here's a spot to find for you. I wouldn't normally stop and pick these things up, but I've seen this is my second one in about three weeks, so I'm going to take it. It's down here. Here we go. Here it is. That spout. Am I going to take it? Oh, I don't know. I suppose it's a garden keeper, isn't it? Just lurking. I can see it's a bit nibbled. But that's okay. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, looks like an 18th century. Oh, that's a bit... Feels a bit crackly to me. Yep. There we go. 18th century pipe. Bowl and a tiny fragment of stem. And, as usual, I will see what's in the bottom of that bowl when I get it home. Oh, there's some letters, definitely. I... I can't make that out. I, A, maybe? We'll check that out when I'm back home. Oh, I think it's an A, like a really big A. Check that out at home. Well, I heard the clink, the unmistakable clink, and there we go, a huge chunk of shrapnel. This is generally anti-aircraft missiles, so this is ground to air, bombs, missiles, artillery, call it what you will, but this is a big, this is a large piece of shrapnel.
sometimes it is the smallest, lightest touches of detail that really make a find so delightful. Look at that, it's either what, clouds or water? Beautiful. Tinglaze tin Delftware, English. And look at that little bit of hand-painted detail. It really makes it such a special little thing. I'm thinking the finds are drawing me to them today and this might be the last one of the day. Just in this little bone and tile drift. What have we got? Is it a Beatty? No, it's an Idris ginger beer. So that is another type of vulcanized rubber stopper that would go in a bottle. Late 19th, early 20th. I need to research these. I think these are probably early 20th rather than late 19th. There we go. Cool, huh? Found another little chap in this drift here. This is the core of a horn, an animal horn, probably cattle of some kind. So that's a horn core. I'm going to keep that because I think that's a bit of a special thing, really. There we go. Next to the bottle sticker. Guys, thank you for joining me. And if you joined me for that uh, live this week, today is hmm, Tuesday so if this goes out on Sunday if you join me for the live on Tuesday hi and thank you that was my first ever live and I just thought let's do it I might be a bit more organized next time so thanks for joining me out here again on this really crazy changeable weather day it was great I'm putting myself in the shade because I want to show you up there we've got St Paul's and I'm just on Millennium Bridge right now but um yeah, thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon on Mudlarking with Old Father Thames.